Yesterday, we started to take a look at the 10 factors, Samyojana, starting from personality view, doubt, all the way to ignorance. Because this is listed in a paragraph way, I use another source as a table to easier to make sense of this, yeah? to organize this much neater. I've shown this table, starting from the stream enterer all the way to Arahan, and what are the factors eliminated at each stage. Yeah? And a little bit of advertising that this was taken from one of my favorite Buddhist books in the Buddha's words. <laughs> if any of you would like a copy, and just send me a message. I'm happy to give it away. Okay. Let's continue with the next paragraph. The path is followed immediately by another state of supramundane consciousness known as the fruit, Fala, which results from the path's work of cutting off defilements. Each path is followed by its own fruit, wherein for a few moments, the mind enjoys the blissful peace of Nirvana before descending again to the level of mundane consciousness. Ah, seems like we have read this paragraph yesterday. Yeah, Brother Waken has already read yesterday. Okay, okay, yes, yes. Okay, then, okay, this paragraph is about stream and terror. Yeah, yes, yeah, it's the, uh, that. Mm, he still has certain developments remaining in this mental makeup, and it will take him as long as seven more lives to arrive at the final goal. Yeah. And at this stage, there is no way that he can fall away. Okay, so I'll continue with the next paragraph. An enthusiastic practitioner with sub-faculties, after reaching stream entry, does not relax his striving, but puts forth energy to complete the entire path as swiftly as possible. He resumes his practice of insight contemplation, passes through the ascending stages of insight knowledge and in time reaches the second path, the path of the once returner, Sakadami Maga. This supramundane path does not totally eradicate any of the fetters, but it attenuates the roots of greed, aversion, and delusion. Following the path meditator experiences its fruit, then emerges as a once Return, who will return to this world at most only one more time before attaining full liberation. Yeah, this is what I mentioned yesterday. After reaching entry, does not relax his driving. Yeah. Because he has seen that at this stage, he has seen that samsara is suffering. So he does not think like, like me, you know, thinking, oh, I only have seven more lives. I'd better enjoy the remaining lives I had. <laughs> yeah? But no, no, no. This is samsara way of thinking, samsara way. Yeah. Because I enjoy samsara, that's why I think this way. But for the noble disciples, they have seen that samsara is indeed suffering. So, he does not relax his striving, but puts forth energy and keeps striving to complete the entire path as quickly as possible to be released from suffering yeah, as soon as possible. When he continues, he will reach the second path, the path of one Sri Turner. It does not eradicate any of the fetters, but it attenuates, let's define attenuates, weaken, 
reduce, lessen, decrease. Yeah? Reduce the force effect of failure. Reduce in thickness, make thin. We take a look at the table again. This is the once return. What are the factors newly eliminated? None. But weakens last hatred and delusion. What are the remaining types of rebirth? One more birth in the sand spear run. Okay, any question for this paragraph? If not, let's continue reading. How about Sister Jolene? Our practitioner again takes up the task of contemplation. At the next stage of supramundane realization, he attains the third path, the path of the non returner, Anagami Maga, with which he cuts off the two factors of sensual desire and ill will. From that point, he can never again fall into the grip of any desire for sense pleasure and he can never be aroused to anger, aversion, or discontent. As a non-returner, he will not return to the human state of existence in any future life. If he does not reach the last path in this very life, then after death, he will be reborn in a higher sphere in the fine material world called Rupa Loka and there reach deliverance. Okay, thanks, Sister Jolene. Yeah, when they continue to practice, when they continue to strive, they will reach the next stage of realization, the third path, the path of the non-returner. Anagami Maga. What are the factors eliminated? He cuts off the two factors of sensual desire and ill will. He can never fall again to the grip of any desire for sense pleasure can never be aroused to anger, aversion, or discontent. How beautiful this is. Uh, by the word itself, non-returner, he will not return again to a human state in any future life. Yeah. If he does not reach the last part, he will be reborn in the higher sphere, fine material world, Rupa Loka, and their rich deliverance. Let's take a look at the table. Non-returner, factors newly eliminated, as we have read. Sensual loss and ill will, the remaining types of rebirth. Spontaneous rebirth in the form realm. Finally, the last stage. Okay, how about Sister Singhui? Would you like to read? But our meditator again put forth effort, develops insight, and at its climate enters the fourth path, the path of Arahanship, Arahata Maga. With this path, he cuts off the five remaining factors. Desire for fine, material existence, and desire for immaterial existence, conceit, restlessness, and ignorance. The first is the desire for rebirth into the celestial planes made accessible by the four jhanas. The planes commonly subsumed under the name the Brahma world the second is the desire for rebirth into the four Im immaterial planes made accessible by the achievement of the four immaterial attainments. Conceit, mana, is not the cause type of pride to which we become disposed 
through an overestimation of our virtues and talents. But the subtle residue of the notion of an ego, which subsists even after conceptually explicit views of self have been eradicated. The texts refer to this type of conceit as the conceit I am. Asme mana, restlessness, uchaka, is the subtle excitement which persists in any mind not yet completely enlightened. And ignorance, avidya, is the fundamental cognitive obscuration which prevents full understanding of the Four Noble Truths. Although the grosser grades of ignorance have been sculpted from the mind by the wisdom faculty in the first three paths, a thin vow of ignorance overlays the truth even in the non-returner. Thanks, Sing Hui, for reading this long paragraph. <laughs> okay. I think firstly, let's take a look at the table. The last stage, Arahan, the fat is newly eliminated. Yeah. When the previous one, there is still rebirth in the form realm, then at the Arahan stage, this desire is eliminated. Desire for existence in the form realm, desire for formless existence, and three more factors conceit, restlessness, and ignorance. What is the remaining type of rebirth? None. Yeah. Finally. So the table cover this part. The first desire for rebirth into celestial planes made accessible by the four jhanas. The planes commonly subsume under the name the Brahma world. Uh, this one from each jhana, if if you can maintain the jhana at the moment of death, then let, let's say you attain the first jhana and then you maintain the state at the moment of death, then from what I heard uh, from Shifu, you will be reborn in a subsequent plane. If you get reborn in the second jhana, uh, no, no, not get reborn. If you maintain the state of second jhana at the moment of death, you will be reborn in a higher plane. Yeah? So each jhana will correspond to each plane of rebirth. Yeah? This is what is meant. Uh, this is what is meant by the celestial planes. Yeah? Each jhana has a, its own counterpart part of the plane. The second is the desire for rebirth into the four immaterial planes made accessible by the achievement of the four immaterial attainments. Yeah? Subsequently, the four immaterial attainments also has its own rebirth, yeah? place of the rebirth. Uh, for this one, maybe it's better if I find the reference yeah, so you guys can understand better. Okay, give me a second. Let me see. I think there's one that's pretty good on access to insight. Uh, yeah, let me check quickly. Ah, on it. The 31 planes of existence. Yeah. This is, yeah. Uh, these are all the explanation, but I think the neater one is the table below. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is like, it starts from the highest plane, 31st. Yeah, But let's go further below. <laughs> we start from the low to high. Yeah, the lowest rung, hell. Uh, after hell, it's animals. 
and then hungry ghosts. The fourth one is asuras. These are all the lower, lower sphere of rebirth, yeah? lower realms. After asuras, then finally, higher states of rebirth, human beings. <laughs> Ta -da, here we are. You are here for now. <laughs> Yeah. So while well, while we are still at the fortunate rebirth, yeah, higher rebirth, we are at the lowest rung <laughs> out of all uh, possible planes of fortunate rebirth. <laughs> okay. The next one will be Day Wars of the Four Great Kings. The 33 gods, Yama Devas, Contented Devas, Devas Delighting in Creation, Devas Wielding Power over the Creation of Others. Yeah. This is still the happy destinations, but it is still inside the sensuous world, Kamaloka. Let's go up. Now, this is what I mentioned that where each jhana will correspond, has its own corresponding rebirth. Yeah. Starting from the first jhana, if you only have minor degree, then you will reborn in here. Retinue of Brahma. If you have medium degree, then you can reborn in ministers of Brahma. Yeah. And if you develop jhana to the highest degree, then you'll be reborn in the great Brahmas. Yeah. Likewise, the second jhana is also divided into minor until minor, medium, and highest. Yeah. And each has its own plane. For the details, you can just read uh, read this page. But my point is, each jhana will correspond to its uh, own plane, and depending on the degree you develop it, it also has uh, its own strength. If it's only minor degree of the third jhana, then <laughs> you'll be reborn in, with limited glory. Yeah, they was with limited glory. Glory. We develop it to the highest degree. You will have refulgent glory. <laughs> Let's take a look at refulgent. Shining very brightly. Okay, let's quickly move up. This is fourth jhana. Yeah, fourth jhana has let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven realms corresponds to it. This is all categorized under. The fine material world, Rupa Loka. And what is above this fine material world? It's the four immaterial attainment. The first formless, second formless, third formless, and fourth formless. Infinite space, infinite consciousness, nothingness, and this is the last one. Neither perception nor non-perception. The inhabitants of these realms are possessed entirely of mind. Having no physical body, they are unable to hear Dharma teachings. Yeah. So, as exalted as they are, yeah, this does not guarantee enlightenment yet. Okay. I think, any questions so far? Let's continue this paragraph. Conceit mana is not the coarse type of pride to which we become disposed through an <laughs> overestimation of our virtues and talents. Yeah, this is our normal pride. But the conceit referred here is the subtle residue of the notion of an ego which subsists even after conceptually explicit views of self have been eradicated, have been eradicated, yeah. where? At the path of, yeah, do you recall? When, when is this explicit fuse of self have been eradicated? It's at the stage of stream enterer. Yeah? Stream enterer, you recall, the factors newly eliminated. The first one is identity view. But why is there still conceit in the Arahant? 
this paragraph explains. This is a subtle residue of the notion of an ego. Yeah. Even though at the stage of stream enter, explicit fields of self, the identity field have been eradicated. The text calls this the conceit, I am, as me mana. Restlessness is the subtle excitement which persists in any mind not yet completely enlightened. And the last one, ignorance. Yeah. At the very beginning, we have established that the purpose of the path is to completely remove ignorance. And finally, at this stage, ignorance, afija, is eliminated. The fundamental cognitive obscuration, which prevents full understanding on the four noble truths. Some grades, grosser grades of ignorance have been scoured from the mind by the wisdom faculty. In the first three parts, a thin veil of ignorance overlays the truth, even at the stage of non-return. Okay, let's take a look at the chat. Is sense realm the same as desire realm? Uh, okay, let's take a look again. Sensuous world and desire realm. I think it's synonymous, but let me double check. Let me double check. Sense pure realm. Sense pure realm. Desire realm. Uh, I'm not sure. I need to double check. Does anyone have answer? So seeing who's question is, is sense realm the same as desire realm? No, I think basically sense, sense, sense realm or desire is talking about the sensual desire, if I'm not wrong. So it's about uh, the three realms, right? The uh, sense, and then the form and the formless. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the three big categories. Yeah. So the correct word to use is sense realm, not desire realm. Usually, I think when I heard of it, it's usually called sense spear realm. But in Chinese, it's just yu jie. Okay. Yu jie, se jie, wu se jie, this san jie. Yeah. So what does that mean, yu jie? Yu jie is the sense realm, the sensual desire. That means we have this, you know, sensual desire of uh, tai se mi su sui, like uh, greed for uh, sexual, greed for, you know, money, greed for uh, sleep, greed for food. For yeah, we are, we are inside this sensual desire realm where we have a body, also. Yeah, yeah, okay. it does seem synonymous, but I'll double check. Hmm. Okay, here's the explanation in the book in the Buddha's words the sense sphere realm, our realm, is so called because the beings reborn here are strongly driven by sensual desire. Yeah, so it does seem synonymous, but Bhikkhu body usually just call it sense spear realm. Okay. Any other questions? Yeah, that's a good question. If not, let's do a dedication. Let's share screen. Yen Xiao San Zhang Zhu Fan Nao. Yen De Zhu Hui Chen Ming Liao. Hu Yen Zhu Zhang Xi Xiao Chu. Xie Xie Chang Xing Pu Sa Dao. Amitofo. Here we meet again. May we be guided by the Buddha, Dhamma, and the Sangha. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. Have a superb Saturday.
Thanks everyone for participating. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you, sister.